Hello everyone, so before I start this video, a quick mention of the ongoing fundraiser with Sanaf. Over 15,000 has been raised so far, so thanks for everybody who contributed. This is to raise money for a Mitsubishi Bajero, free monoculars and a drone for the 44th Battalion. Any help is greatly appreciated. So in this video here we have a T90M getting hit up the rear end by what has been reported online as being a drone, but it could be an anti-tank missile as the impact is at a high speed and I can't see the drone at all on the video. Usually, they do show up. The tank drives on a bit before eventually being abandoned and they're a burnt out Euro truck. We can also see a second video, this one showing the burnt out T90M wreck afterwards, confirming that this T90M was destroyed, not just damaged and abandoned to possibly be recovered later. So another T90M lost for Russia. This occurred here. The T-90M was heading south when it was hit by the drone or the missile. Here's the location zoomed out a bit, so you can see the key settlements of Klitschivka and Bakhmut to the north. Both of these are heavily contested at the moment. This is better shown on deep states, as this occurred just north of Kurdyamivka. This is right on the front lines, so a very important bit of action here, taking out not only Russia's most modern tank, but also a tank which would have posed a significant threat to Ukrainian forces in the area. Here it is zoomed out slightly to show its position in relation to Bakhmut and the ongoing Bakhmut counter-offensive overall. And here, the numbers. 25 visually confirmed on Oryx so far. Russia didn't have many of these, around 60 in service last year, but the T-90M is still under production and more have been delivered throughout 2022. The T-90M we have seen deployed near Kremina earlier this year, and more recently, around Bakhmut and Zaporizhia. So, that's it for this video. I hope you found it interesting. If so, please click like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thanks again, and take care everybody.